What's up and welcome back, Country Boy here with Team Yeti Gaming, bringing you another Smart How To Guide. And today we're going to be looking at the father of the Frost Giants, Ymir. Not in the support role. Oh no, we're going in the jungle. That's right. But enough about that, let's talk about this build, shall we? Now you want to start off like a standard assassin with Assassin's Blessing. And then T1 of Polynomicon and a few potions. Now after that, we go straight into my Polynomicon. Next is the boots. I like to use Shoes of the Magi for the penetration, but Traveler's shoes work just as good if you want to run around the jungle. Then Demonic Grip, Soul Reaver, and then Sphere of Desolation. Now those are my core items that I like to run in the jungle. But like I always say, each game is different, so make sure you build accordingly. Now with that being said, here are a few more items that I actually like to use on your mirror. None of them in particular order, just they just how I put them down. Obsidian Shard, Divine Ruin if you need to shut down a healer, Bancroft's Talon if you want life steal, Shaman's Ring which is really good to have, I like that one too. Boomba's Mask if you really want to run the run around the jungle like a madman, and Void Stone if you want a little bit of defense with some of that debuff. Now you can also run some protection if you want to like Mantle of Discord. That's pretty decent to have it if you need it but you really shouldn't need it when you run your mirror because he does have a lot of health and defense. Just base. Also don't forget the Elixir of Speed. You can sell it and you can sell your boots and you can pick up one of these extra items like the Shaman's Ring or the Bancroft's Talent or something. Now that's basically it for the build, but if you want to stick around, I will show and tell you how I play Ymir. And starting off, the reason why I go into Polynomicon first is because of Ymir's passive Frostbite. Now, with that passive, if an enemy is affected by your abilities, they are debuffed, and Ymir's basic attacks do 100% more damage on top of the passive from Polynomicon, it's like magic. You become the Bop King. Also with the passive too, they become, uh, they do like, I think it's 10% less damage. I'm not 100% on that, but I have to check. I think it's like 10 or 15% less damage as they got the debuff on, and it lasts like four seconds. Now, on from that, we'll talk about the way that you level up his abilities. Now, I, like, I actually like to max out my two first his carpet unless I'm playing a more supportive role then I'll max out the three first that way this freeze is longer but in the jungle we want to go with the two first then the three then his wall while alternating between the ultimate so anytime you have a point ready for the ultimate you want to make sure and put that in there now when you use his abilities I like to use the freeze first then go up and hit him with a basic attack because of his passive and the Polynomicon passive. Use your two, hit another basic attack because your passive is still active. And then you can use your ult if you need to finish him off. Now after that, if they run and trying to get away, you can always throw a wall up and block them off. And trust me, it is very effective when playing the jungle. Now Ymir is a really fun character to play in the jungle. Also, he is one of the free guys that you can get just for downloading the game, so there's really no excuse not to run him in the jungle. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I'm Country Boy, and I hope I see you in the next one.